Hey guys, my name is Matt Hester. I'm an open player from Clemson, South Carolina, and today I thought I'd take you through my bag and tell you a little bit about the discs that I use. I'm going to start with my putting putters. I putt with Discraft OG Blend Jawbreaker Roaches. Um, what I like about the Roach is that it has a really nice straight flight with plenty of glide. So anything about 80 feet and in, uh, this is what I'm going to use to run at the basket. So Discraft Jawbreaker Roaches. As far as throwing and approaching, I got a few different molds in the bag, but my favorite one to use is the Infinite Tomb. I got three of them in the bag. The Tomb is a very nice low profile putter, uh, fits very well in the hand. Uh, starting out with the D-Blend Tomb, this is what I'm going to be using for more left to right approach shots, short drives off the tee. I'll even use this for some longer putts if it's outside of 80 feet. After that, I've got the S-Blend Tomb. Uh, this one's very straight if I throw it hard. Doesn't really vary off its path too much. Doesn't like to fade out. Doesn't really like to turn over. Just likes to hold very straight. And then I've got the C-Blend Tomb if I want one that has a little bit more finish to it. So this is really good if the wind picks up or if I just need a little more left finish. If I need something even more stable than that, then I go to the Infinite Ruin. Uh, the Ruin's a nice overstable putter from Infinite. Uh, great for sidearms and for backhand shots. Really good for approach games, especially when the wind picks up. So, Infinite Ruin. Thanks to Joseph Culp of High 8 Dies and also a Team Infinite member uh, for the die on this. Uh, definitely check him out. He's got some more on infinitedisc.com. And then if I need something even more stable, then I go to the Discraft Zone. Uh, this is a very reliable putter for me. I've used this for years now. Great for sidearm and for backhand. Uh, very similar to the Ruin, but I use this if I need just a little more finish at the end. Going into the mid-ranges, I've got a, a Discraft ESP Meteor. Uh, this is what I use for turnover mid-range shots. Great for shots up to about 320 feet. If I need a smooth little turnover or a hyzer flip in the woods, I'm going to be reaching for the Meteor. After that, it's pretty much buzzes. I've got one ESP buzz uh, that I use for straight shots. This is probably my go-to mid-range at the moment that I use just to pop up and go straight. I can turn it over if I need to. Uh, pretty much does anything that I need it to do. I also carry a 10-year buzz. This one's dead straight, very similar to my Esplan Tomb. It doesn't really turn over, doesn't really fade out, just goes dead straight. And then I've got another 10-year buzz that I use if I need a little more finish at the end of the flight. A little more predictable in the wind and then if the wind really picks up then I go to my Big Z Buzz OS. Uh, this started out very overstable but it's gotten broken in now uh, but still has that nice overstable flight that you can always trust. This next disc is kind of a cross between a fairway driver and a mid-range. Um, I've had it in my bag for about five years now and um, I'm absolutely loving it. It's the Innova CE Viper. Definitely don't see many of these. You definitely don't hear about many players using these anymore. Uh, but this is a very reliable disc for me. I use this pretty much every single round I play. Anything about 275 and in for sidearm or for backhand shots, I'm gonna be using the Viper. Nice and overstable, very reliable in any condition. Um, the Innova CE Viper. Going into fairway drivers, I've got the Splatter S Blend Centurion. This is gonna be very similar to an FD or a Leopard 3. I use this for hyzer flips in the woods mainly, but I will use this if I need a nice little S curve up to about 360 feet or so. After that, probably my go-to fairway driver is the Infinite Exodus. I've got two of them in the bag. I've got the Prototype S Blend as well as the C Blend. Uh, the S Blend is gonna be dead straight. This one's gotten broken in over time. Probably my go-to fairway driver if I'm reaching for a shot up to about 360 where I just want something to go straight and have a little finish at the end. If I need a little more fade, uh, then I go to the C-Blend Exodus. Um, just very reliable, keeps me in the fairway. Stepping up in speed a little bit, I've got the Infinite Sphinx. Uh, this is a really good understable driver, very similar to a Roadrunner or a Discraft Heat. Uh, great for those big left to right shots or if I'm throwing in got a tailwind that I can stretch out the distance a little bit more. On the opposite end of the spectrum, I've got the Infinite Scepter. This is a metal flake color glow. Uh, very similar to a Firebird, nice and overstable, something I can trust in any wind condition. Use it for both backhand and sidearm. Also carry a metal flake color glow Aztec. 
This is a new addition to my bag. It's something that I've been working with. I'm really liking it so far. It's really straight. I can kind of control the angles, very similar to a Centurion for me, um, but just a little bit faster. I'm also working with it for some sidearms as well. Um, also carry the Discraft Onyx. This has been a really great addition to my bag. I've really been loving this disc. Um, use this for shots where I might use my Aztec, but I need a little bit more finish at the end. Uh, this goes very far. I'm throwing this close to 400 feet just on those nice straight to slight hyzer shots. Um, so the Discraft Onyx. This next disc I call my cheater disc. Um, it's the Infinite Slab. Um, very overstable disc. Definitely the most overstable disc I've ever thrown. Uh, the normal run of slabs is very overstable, but if you can find these super flat, clear X out ones, uh, these things are like bricks. They just want to get to the ground pretty much as soon as they leave your hand. Um, so I'm using this mostly for approach shots just because I can't really get it to go beyond 250 feet, but uh, very useful disc. Um, definitely a get out of trouble disc for me. Last but not least, let's go to the distance drivers. Um, my favorite driver of all time, the thing that I've been waiting on ever since I started playing disc golf has been the Infinite Faro. Uh, for me, the Faro has the perfect mix of speed, glide, and stability. Uh, so I'm happy to be throwing these. I've got two second run S blends and a Metal Flight Color Glow. Um, this one right here, the X out has been in my bag for a few years now, a couple years I should say. Uh, it's very broken in. I use this for big left to right shots up to about 400, 450 feet. Uh, great for tailwind shots. I've got another one that's a little bit newer. Um, this is what I'm probably gonna be using for just max distance shots um, in an open field. If I'm just trying to throw it as far as I can, more than likely this is what I'll use. And then if I need something to still get me a lot of distance but fight back a little bit more at the end, I go to the Metal Flake Color Glow. These all seem to have a nice little pop on them giving them that extra stability. So really like the Metal Flake Color Glow. And last but not least, I've got my Swirly Esplen Emperors. Uh, the Emperor is a, a very destroyer-like disc, very stable, something you can trust in every situation. So I've got two Garrett Gerthy Signature ones. Uh, these are a little bit lighter. I've got a 168 and a 171. I'm using these for any kind of overstable distance shot. Um, if the wind is up and I just need something to finish back or if I'm throwing sidearm, you'll see me use one of these two. And then if the wind really picks up, then I pull out the Max Weight Swirly s Emperor. This one I know is always gonna finish to the left for a backhand or to the right for a sidearm. Um, so I'm happy to have those. Uh, big shout out to Infinite Disc for all their uh, support and all the things they do for me, again, both on and off the course. I appreciate all the things that they do to, to grow the sport, and I'm happy to be representing them. And also, thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions about any of these discs, please be sure to comment down below. Thanks, guys.